Hot and humid. We're surviving. <laughs> it took me a while to adapt to yeah, just all the different things, the culture, the food, uh, the weather, the different religions. Yeah. So I think a highlight for me is just the supernatural way of meeting Christians here in Sri Lanka. Meeting a Christian in Sri Lanka is like meeting a solid Buddhist in South Africa. It doesn't happen, you don't see them, you don't find them. And still we found awesome people who love the Lord and... I think it's the same for me. Um, a highlight is you're in this foreign country meeting Christians, brothers and sisters that gave up their lives for the ministry. It's very encouraging. Uh, can I be honest? <laughs> of course. Um, you know, the heat is quite an adjustment. I think John and I both love exercising and eating well and you're just not able to eat well yet and you're not able to exercise because it's too hot and there's no vegetables in the shops. For me, in the first two weeks I had a tummy bug and uh, it was not nice. Yeah, I had it for two days and I just wanted to go home. <laughs> I must say I enjoy the food very much um, and my favorite is called a penny walulu it's a lot like a cook sister <laughs> hey Shofa so for me I feel like this has been a season where God has been preparing us uh, preparing the ground preparing the people and also uh, bringing things together at the right time to do something amazing in the months to come I think we feel that God is really opening up doors for the gospel and especially also for literature work which is very essential and important here in this area. In, in spite of opposition, God is really helping us to move forward and to work with people who are addicted to drugs and stuff like that. So we are really encouraged by what God is doing today. Yeah, please keep praying for God. So this makes me think about Daniel 9 and how Daniel interceded for his people. Being here, I, I realize daily how much God loves the people of Sri Lanka and how he's not willing to see them go lost. Um, yeah, so I just see him bringing people together, interceding for his nation so they can be saved. I believe God wants my peoples to receive the good news of Jesus just like I did and so discipleship give them a chance to grow spiritually and economically God bless you I just see God's love and mercy for this nation and granting them repentance to turn back to the living God I can just say that God is really moving in a miraculous way, in a wonderful way. He's putting the right people in the right place in terms of being available. In terms of our ministry here, God brings children right to our doorstep where we can evangelize them. So really, God is doing uh, wonderful things and this is an exciting time. Challenging, but exciting time to be in Sri Lanka. Hi everyone, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, especially we can see the hand of God is moving again and again in Sri Lanka. God is going to move in a mighty way in this country, even in this hard time, even in this problematic times, even in this tough time. He is going to give more blessings and He is going to be with us forever and ever. God bless you. Do you miss home? I miss home so much. I can miss my mom. <laughs>